Hey YouTube, got a gadget video for you, and this is uh, a torch that I picked up. It's actually a fire steel. It's very, um, I, I don't want to say it's comparable to the Exotac, which I have here. So I'm going to compare it to the to the Exotac, but it's very similar. Um, comes in this box which is not bad. Comes in a, a little foam padded area here. So this is it. It's by Inside and Beyond torches. These are about 20 bucks, whereas the Exotax are a little more than that, <laughs> depending on where you get them. So there's a size comparison between the two. And I keep this one on a key ring in a leather pouch that I carry with me with some other gadgets on it. But uh, anyway, we'll go through the features of this one. So you open it up. It does have O-rings. And it did come with spare O-rings, which I don't have in here. I've put them somewhere else. So there's the fire still on the torch. And we'll do the fire still on the Exotac which is loose. So the fire steels are about the same size, same thicknesses. And as far as quality of the fire steel on this one, I'm not sure. It is removable, so you could put the Exotac in here, I'm assuming. Let's see. So yeah, you could replace this with a uh, Exotac fire steel. Actually, the threads are different. Yeah, the Exotac's a little coarser thread. But they are the same size. Uh, let's see. So, we'll open. This is the scraper on the Exotac. Or the striker, and comes with a little compartment. And then on this one, your scraper is actually a little bit bigger. And that's the other, one of the reasons I got this one, the torch, is because the handle on the torch is knurled, you can see. And it's bigger, so you got a better grip on it. But the scraper is a little different. Or this looks like an I-beam. This is like a saw blade. And I haven't really used it yet. I'll do a uh, actual use video. And then the compartments, sorry, where is it at? Here it is. The compartments in the handle, the torch is a little bit bigger, so you can put bigger tender or whatever in. You cannot, so you have the two here. And then on the torch or the exotac, the other two. And then we also have a tender pocket here, which I already showed you. And then that's pretty much it for the exotac. But if you look at the torch, you can pull this other end off and carry, and it actually comes with this little tender here. You can carry more tender in this because it's a little bit bigger, and that's also O ring sealed. So whatever tender you put in there doesn't get wet. And it does have a compass, which seems not to work. Which, I, I don't know many compasses like this that actually do work. You know, these little cheap compasses. So I, I wouldn't bet my life on it. Right now it's actually pointing north. <laughs> but if I spin it around... It is pointing south now, so I, I wouldn't bet my life on directions on this uh, this one. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Like I said, 20 bucks on eBay, which is where I get most of my crap from. Uh, it does have a little lanyard here, which I would... I, I, it seems to be okay. And then the Exotech goes back together like so... 
and then the scrape the scraper handle actually becomes the lanyard hole on that so just a, another option for you guys if uh, you know you're looking at the exotac but don't want to spend the money on that this this seems to be a, a decent option so there's that and the knurling is is pretty grippy but the exotac is is you know definitely smaller uh, heavier than this actually and it just seems to be a little better quality on the exotac than this but you know just throwing another alternative out there for people I will I will try this I'll do a, a test on both these soon uh, it's been freaking freezing here in Idaho uh, it hasn't been above zero in about a week matter of fact it's been negative 10 to negative 20 the last uh, three or four days so it's been brutal here which I got sick uh, got that crap going around so if I sound a little hoarse uh, that's it anyway so as soon as the weather gets a little better I'm not gonna wait for the snow to melt to do the test on these but you know I don't want to be standing out in the freezing freaking cold doing a, a test maybe I'll do it in my garage but we'll check them out just wanted to share it with you guys um, depending on how the ferro rods actually compete work together if they're just as good this is a great option because it has a little more storage like I said the the handle right here for the striker is beefier than this handle so uh, that's it check them out thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe we'll see ya